So this has been a really exciting time for CLL, uh, not just this ASH, but in the last two or three years, we've had a tremendous explosion of new drugs. Um, those have substantially improved outcomes for our patients and it continues to get better and better. Uh, there are a few things that are really important that I would like to highlight from the most recent data that was presented and published in the last few months. I think one of the themes that we have all seen is that chemotherapy is on its way out for CLL. There has been at least two major landmark studies which compared uh, a BTK inhibitor, ibrutinib specifically, with chemoimmunotherapy in patients with untreated CLL, both in the young group of patients and also in the older group of patients, uh, comparing it to either FCR or benamustine and rituximab. And in both of those studies, there was a substantial improvement with the use of ibrutinib and rituximab. Now, there are still some issues about whether there are certain subgroups of patients who would still benefit from having a time-defined or time-limited therapy, which is chemotherapy, for six months and not have to use a lifelong therapy, which in this case is the brutinib. So there are groups of patients within this subset of patients who have untreated disease, especially in the younger cohort, uh, who have mutated IGHV, and those patients tend to do really well in certain situations when they get six months of treatment with FCR. However, outside of that particular group, every other subgroup benefited more from the use of BTK inhibitors. And we hope that with even more follow-up and long-term data, we can see that the BTK inhibitors will actually prevail, even in that setting. So I think all in all, it looks very promising that the field has moved away from chemotherapy, and we can now offer our patients a chemotherapy-free option.